My blog is called Life with the Bikes and it's a lifestyle blog consisting of posts about travel, music, fashion, food, all of that. So my target market was women ages 19 to 35. Um, I feel like most women that follow travel blogs or lifestyle blogs fit in that age category. But obviously, um, you know, my content isn't just going to appeal towards women. Um, it'll also be catered towards men, some of the posts, and children or um, older individuals. So I think that the content that I provided will be able to relate to a lot of people, but um, I wanted to focus more on that specific age group. So my positioning was obviously a lifestyle blog. I wanted to create um, a equal amount of posts on music, fashion, and travel. And, you know, somebody in Utah that loves to be outdoors and knows like the same geographic area as me would probably be the ideal reader so that they could um, relate to the content that I'm posting and like the you know restaurants local to Utah or the specific hikes that I recommend and stuff like that. So the tar market research that I did um, focused a lot on you know what kind of posts I wanted to have on my blog and um, what posts generally do well among the lifestyle blog world and I figured out that you know my blog would probably get the most amount of traffic during the day um, so that's another reason that I wanted to target my market towards women you know a lot of moms stay at home with kids and um, will check blogs during their nap times or stuff like that And the competitive research I did was looking up different lifestyle blogs that are popular and um, one in particular that I reference is Amber Fillerup and this is a photo of her. Um, another one that I saw was The Pioneer Woman and Cup of Joe were also very popular um, and I was able to you know follow them and see what had been working for them and be able to implement that into my own blog but be able to create it in my own words and add my own um, experiences and my own opinions to those topics so yeah that's a little bit about the competitive research and market research now i'm going to show you my website so this is my homepage, life with the bikes and then i just have a quick little intro of me and my husband um i just have a little quote here saying we're just your typical high school sweetheart sharing our thoughts with you so yes we did meet in high school and um if you scroll down more um it says cameron my husband races on bikes competitively hence the bikes nickname when we got married you know i inherited the nickname but um I cannot bike competitively at all. Okay, so the design that I wanted to go for was pretty minimalistic and a lot of white and airy looking. Um, so you can see at the top, my header just has the title of my blog, Life with the Bikes, bikes and then um, I have the four pages of my blog, which are the home, blog posts, frequently asked questions, and my about page. Then I just have a little menu on the side over here showing like the general um, topic of my blog posts. And then uh, if you scroll down to the bottom, it has a list of some of the latest posts that I've written. And then just at the bottom, there's a place to subscribe. And then you can get my contact information and I've linked my social media here. For some of the like advertising and marketing strategies I wanted to implement in this blog were you know affiliate links and promoting products and working with um, brands 
So this post demonstrates that by, you know, rating some of my best backpacks from Patagonia and then linking it to their website. So like at the end of this paragraph right here, um, I have that linked and same with every backpack. I have a, an affiliate link for that. And I feel like that's a good content strategy for most blogs and something that I would want to continue in the future. Um, I think I would also want to implement working with other influencers, blog writers, um, lifestyle blog writers, and maybe collaborate with them in the future. Um, here is an example of my how-to video. I um, wrote a blog post on the how to ski. So right here you can see the best way to learn how to ski. Me and my husband go skiing every year. We love it. And it's something I wanted to write about. So I'll just show you that really quickly. Here's that blog post. So yeah, I just have a bunch of different um, blog posts on here about, you know, my favorite vacations to go on, some travel tips, um, my favorite recipes that I grew up with for my mom. And, you know, this one is ways to outsource your small business. I'm in digital marketing right now and I've learned a bunch of tips and tricks that I could share with my blog readers, followers. So that's just a little bit about my blog and I hope you enjoy.